Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to look at Brian Boone's interview outside of Sarah Boone's home the morning where George Torres was found deceased in the suitcase. This is the suitcase murder trial that it's starting October 14th, Monday morning at 9 a.m. And Brian Boone was Sarah Boone's uh, previous husband. I would like to watch this interview and ask you, what do you think? Do you think Brian Boone is going to testify in this case? Do you think he's going to testify on behalf of Sarah or against Sarah? So let's share and check out what Brian uh, said to the detectives when he was at the scene. Please don't forget to share and subscribe and like and let me know what you guys think in the comments if you have an uh, opinion on this. I need for you to find water. Okay, I'll get some for you. You trying to try, but you're on it. Beeps. Hey, beeps. I actually don't think this is the detective, the one that we that we saw testifying uh, during the motion last time. This is just the deputy or the sheriff, whoever uh, first arrived at the scene, questioning Brian. So first question is, do you, you, do you live around here? He's like, no, 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 miss me. I don't live here. No, I live down in uh, Lake Winona Cove. Lake Winona Cove, okay. Yeah. So kind of tell me how you came here today or? Well, I've been... Um, Come down here and look at the I've been calling your ex-wife or current yes, wife? Yes, yes. Okay. No, 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 no. Ex-wife. It's <laughs> about a year and a half. Um, your ex-wife or current? No, 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 no. Ex. I've been divorced over a year and a half. Miss me. Get me as far from Sarah as you possibly can in your mind. Hello. 11.30 is when I start calling Go to ahead. find out because this is supposed to be her day. So, um, seven, seven, eight, four, eight, four, eight. Okay. She's generally not very good about always doing it. She's they called back. Um, an outstanding mother to my son. Yeah, she was still there, there. Or she came back. So, okay. First few words. Not good for Sarah, right? Uh, her ex-husband here is saying today was the day that she was supposed to stay with our ch child and she's not very good about that. I mean, she's just, you know, on and off. So she's going to say, I'm an excellent mother. I'm an outstanding mother. I am wonderful. Everything I, I know how to do everything. That's what Sarah is going to say in her uh, interrogation video. So Brian is saying, not so much. I'm an outstanding mother to my son. I excel at everything and I always know what to do and how to do it. I don't think you all understand who I am. I mean, I've always been a straight A student. So is the texting thing something about me? So I was calling to find out if she was going to be getting him or not today. Cool. Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, I started calling like 1130, okay, and I like 1130, called every half hour, hour or so, and then she was back and said the last finally got a hold of her at... By the way, that noise, that noise is the leaf blowers in Florida. If you, if you don't live in Florida, we have to uh, deal with that all the time they come in and they blow the leaves over here and they blow the leaves over there i honestly don't understand the point because it's not really cleaning anywhere since you're blowing it over there it blows on top of your car uh you can't keep your car clean and it's just so noisy that sometimes when they're outside here i, I try not to even record anything but that's besides the point nothing irritates me so let's go back to ryan boom ah 49 which is when she told me what was going on and if I'd come over here so I came over. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Or 12.49. 12.49. Um, got over. 12.49 p.m. is when he finally got hold of Sarah. So Sarah is an outstanding mother, right? She's a responsible adult for her own words. And here Brian is saying, I've been calling her all morning. And then at 12.49, almost 1 p.m. is when Sarah, what, woke up, went downstairs decided to say, to answer his phone call and say, listen, uh, I'm in a situation here. Over here, told her she need to call 911, get somebody over here, okay. and then- Yeah, let's uh, call the cops. So she need to go outside, have a drink and a cigarette. I walked back out the house because I- Priorities, priorities, right? He's like, 
there's a dead person in your house, you need to call the police. There's a dead person in your house. You need to call the police right away. And Sarah's priorities were, I need to go outside and smoke a cigarette before I do anything. Can you come over? And she waited for Brian to come over before the police was there. So meanwhile, there's a deceased person in the living room inside a suitcase, but I think she removed him from the suitcase to try to see if there was any life, uh, any possibility of saving George at that point. Who called? Did you call or did she call? Well, I called. She called me back when I was on my way to make sure I was coming over. But, um, and then interrupts the interview to say, I need something. I need water really bad. Of course, Sarah, you've been drinking all night, even though you say you drink one glass of wine and you only drank to please George because you don't really drink. You don't like to lose the wits about yourself, right? Or whatever that big word she used when she said she doesn't like to get drunk. I don't like being non complimentous having my wits about myself. I don't like feeling out of control. Now, she has to interrupt this important interview where the detective is talking, the deputy is talking to Brian to talk about herself, about her needs. It's not about, oh my God, what's the family going to go through? How hard is it going to be? I can't believe, I can't believe that this happened to him. No, it's all about Sarah since the beginning and it still is to this day, four years later. But I called her initially. Do you yeah. have water in your car by any chance? I don't. Think so. <laughs> I mean, they have water in the house. Why don't somebody go in the house and get water for her? Nothing? No, okay, okay. No, okay. I don't. Okay, so she called. You get over here. Uh, they should have like a uh, warning for these beeps. Lucas, that's what she's going to I'm going to try to remove the beep uh, later when I, I edit. I got this puppy up in this crate. Um, when I was starting to drive over here is when she called me to make sure I was coming. And then I got over here right after Did that. you go inside and see? And then I, I, I walked inside the front. Um, I didn't see the little front tile area. Come I, on, step this way. I saw legs. Um, I, I just didn't really want to get around it. So um, <laughs> I told her. Well, I just for the sake of the crime scene, I want to know if I were to find your footprint, it would be because you went this far into the house. So did you actually make entry through? I don't, think the threshold. I, I don't think I ever made it to the carpet. I think okay. it was just in that. Um, I've been over here before. Right, so right, I mean, right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, I don't think I've stepped past you that um, okay. tile area. Okay. So um, I, I touched doorknob. I don't think I touched anything in the kitchen. I don't know if that really matters. <laughs> okay. So that's pretty much the gist of what you have. Well, sit tight for us. Um, okay. We're going to make a few phone calls and then we'll go from there. Do okay, you know if he fine. has um, any med uh, medical issues or. I I don't. Okay, but I you've met him before. I've because... met him before, yes. Okay. yes. They've got a whole fun history. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. you guys have been over here quite a few times. For the two of them? Yeah, he's been over here quite a few times. Really? Okay, I'm not familiar with you. So, I haven't been here personally. It's so they have. He, a, he's currently on parole because of it. So um, because of domestic violence with her. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, from last time he got um. Like three trials, something or other. He had to go to a um, domestic violence class. Okay. I know he was doing it at a parole officer, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I mean, like every time she had him arrested, the next day she was trying to get him bailed out. Too, so mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it is. Oh, she's getting water from the tap. Probably gonna pass out on it. Do you see the look of confusion in Brian's face? This is a reading from the book of Alcoholics Anonymous, page eighty-two. The alcoholic is like a tornado, roaring his way through the lives of others. Hearts are broken. Sweet relationships are dead. Affections have been uprooted. Selfish and inconsiderate habits have kept the home in turmoil. We feel a man is unthinking when he says that sobriety is enough. He's like the farmer who came up out of his cyclone cellar to find his home ruined. To his wife, he remarked, don't see anything the matter here, ma. Any grand, the wind stopped blowing. I'll make a not, not a problem. Call. I mean, when your kid need to be picked up? Uh, Lakemont Elementary. How soon, though? Uh, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay. Let me 30, try and get this so. going for you because I know you need that. 
Okay. So there you go. You know, Brian Boone uh, fell in love and married Sarah Boone. And then shortly after, I don't know how long they were together. If you do know, please write in the comments. It always helps us to have more information, right? When covering a case and they had a child, they now have what? custody that where they have certain days for the, the father, certain days for the mother. And Brian directly says, listen, she's an unreliable mother. She's someone who is supposed to have her child some days. And, you know, it's kind of iffy. Some days we can count on her. Some days we can't. Also, this relationship she has, it's bumpy. I've been here before. There was domestic violence stuff going on. It's bumpy. So, not a great witness for Sarah, not a great witness on Sarah's behalf. So do we think Brian Boone is going to testify against or for Sarah? Do we think he's going to testify that, you know, for the states to give her some leniency, for the jury to give her some, some compassion, some empathy? What do we think Brian's, Brian Boone's position is going to be? From outside, looking, you know, looking from the outside, I think Brian Boone is just going to go and and be like he was here, right? Telling them the truth. Uh, I never thought this could happen, or maybe one day I was afraid this could happen, but this is what I experienced with her. And what it seems like is that she does have a problem with alcohol. And then, you know, all the things that come with somebody who doesn't stop drinking and has a problem. So here is uh, what we were talking about, how... Brian is saying she's an unreliable mother, but I want to share this little video we I actually made in this channel the other day I posted where she's listing it's the narcissist it's called uh when a narcissist tries everything to get out of trouble Sarah Boone on my channel please go there and check out this video like uh, make a comment. She is just showing her narcissistic traits, right? So here is her view. I'm an outstanding mother to my son. I am an outstanding mother to my son. That's her view of herself. And I am an outstanding mother to my son. Okay. I excel at everything and I always know what to do. I excel at everything and I always know what to do, do and how to do it. And I always know what to do and how to do it. I don't think you all understand who I am. I mean, I, I don't think y'all understand who I am. I've always been a straight A student. So is the texting thing something about me? Like what's- Why did you say it like that? Like, I don't think you all understand who I am. Where- When do you- And I am an outstanding mother to my son. And Brian's, you know, Brian's response, Brian's first comments, when she says here, I am an outstanding mother to my son. Well, I've been um, calling. Come down here. We've got to talk. Um, I've been calling since. Uh, You've been calling uh, your ex-wife or current yes, wife? Yes, yes. Okay. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Ex-wife. Ex-wife. Okay. Divorced about a year and a half. Um, yeah, about 1130 is when I started calling Go to ahead. find out because this is supposed to be her day. So, um, her child. Okay. She's generally not very good about always doing it. She tends That's right. to drink. They called back and said she tends to drink. She's generally not very good about doing it. She tends to drink. So not such an outstanding mother as other people would think, but in Sarah Boone's mind, she's an outstanding mother to her son. And she may have outstanding qualities that we are not witnessing right now right but this is just to show how the reality is one thing and sarah boone's mind is another thing completely so with that being said thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys think if brian boone is going to testify number one and if he does is he going to say good things or bad things which way is he going to go so see you guys next time